All the praise is for Allah, who is the author of all existence and the most generous to his creation, while he is also the all-compelling. He is the only one worthy of our worship, having no partners, no associates, no sons, no daughters, no one whom he must consult, and no one or anything which has any comparison with him. All the praise is for Allah, who is the king of all who claim sovereignty, the only one who has the right to legislate for his creatures. He is the giver of life. He is the causer of death, while death has no effect upon him, because he is the ever-living, the self-subsisting, the eternal and the only absolute. All the praise is for Allah, who has power over all things, and there is in reality no power and no strength, no influence to cause benefit or detriment except through him. It is he who created this complex world, the seen and the unseen, the evident and the speculative, the earth and all that is on it and everything that is in it. It is he, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the glorious and the mighty, the powerful, who created the heavens that are near and far, the atmosphere and the hemisphere, the stratosphere, the outer space of stars, planets, and galaxies. It is he who created all of this in detail and diversity in a systematic way that scientific laws can be deduced from it, yet so expansive and so profound that science is unable to accurately measure or predict. It is he, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the glorious and the mighty and the powerful, who created and determined all at once, with no pause between his word be, and it is, the heavens, the earth, the angels, the jinn, the men, the beasts, the birds, the insects, the fish in the sea, of every species and kind, all created simply by his command. It is he, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who created the life and mandated death in order to see which of his creatures among the human beings that he has given volition, that he has given a choice to, would be the best in their conduct and their worship. It is he, Allah, the glorious and the powerful, who sent into this world at different times and places messengers, peace and blessings be upon them all, who were gifted with divine scriptures, the highest of morals by which to guide and educate the human beings to a life which is legislated for them and fulfills their very purpose. It is he who sent his messengers and prophets alayhim salam with the common message of strict monotheism, which simply means that there's absolutely no one worthy of worship, no one worthy of our obedience, except the Almighty, the One, the Absolute, and who has no partners. It is He, that majestic, powerful Creator, who gave the human beings intellect, culture, civilization, temporary power, passing pleasures and possessions. Yet he has subjected all who are on this playing field that we call life with the mandate of death. A fact which humbles the arrogant, the wealthy, the rebellious, the disbeliever, the doubter, the ungrateful, the corrupt, the ignorant, the deviant, without exception. It is this fact 
that we need to ponder upon in order to reconcile truth from falsehood, right from wrong, the true vision from the apparent mirage of life. Fortunate are those who understand the fleeting value of this world, the trauma and the swiftness of death that comes without any announcement, the promise and the assurity of the grave and the resurrection, the sorting out 